dear friends, brothers and sisters, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We find our scripture reading for this devotion from Psalm 146, verse 5, and it reads as follows, and it is also the theme for our devotion. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, their God. But I would like us firstly read verse 3 and 4 of Psalm 146. Then we will have a better understanding about our theme, the God of Jacob. Verse 3 reads as follows. Don't put your trust in human leaders. No human being can save you. Followed up by verse 4. Because when they die, they return to dust. On that day, all their plans come to an end. It is very clearly, as the phrase said, don't lean on the arm of flesh. But why then the God of Jacob and not any other God? Let's have a look at it. Dear friends, the night Jacob wrestled with God, he got a new name. He became Israel. This change indicated not only a new name, but also a new nature. Jacob received a new face-to-face -face understanding of God, and therefore his power with God overcome his fear with people or men. When Jacob had prevailing before God, he had no problem prevailing before his brother Esau and people. And let this truth sink in us, deep into us, children of God. It is only with the help of God that we can stand boldly before men without fear. Philippians 4, verse 13, God calls us to trust and then obey, knowing full that in our own strength we will fail. But in him, we will be able to do all things through Christ Jesus, which strengthen us. God wants us to know that he is able, and Isaiah emphasized the ableness of God in Isaiah 40, verse 25. To whom can the Holy God be compared? Is there anyone like him? No, no, no. No empire, no country, no army, not Russia, nor China, nor the USA, nor the United Kingdom, nor South Africa, or any other country can be compared unto the Almighty God. God is able to handle any situation and is able to empower us to handle whatever we face in life. Listen to his promise, Isaiah 14, verse 31. But those who trust in the Lord for help will find their strength renewed. They will rise on wing like eagles. They will run and not get weary. They will walk and not God weak. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Come, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you that you are the one 
in whom we can trust. We now take your promise for ourselves that you will make our heart desires a reality. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart And lean not unto thine own understanding In all thy ways acknowledge Him He shall direct thy paths with His light He will make all things work together For good and for the right Friend, the Lord will guide you your darkest night Trust in the Lord Seek His will And His plan for your life He will reveal The Lord said be still And know that I am God He'll be with you within His will, your feet do trod. Study and pray every day. And in God's Word, He will show you the way. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. shall direct thy paths with his light. He will make all things work together for good and for the right. Friend, the Lord will guide you through your darkest night. Saved, God is your safety net. God is our place of perfect peace and rest. And we can trust in the Lord when we face the test. God will protect us in the sinking sand. No man is able to pluck the saved out of the Father's hand. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart And lean not unto thine own understanding In all thy ways acknowledge Him He shall direct thy paths with His light He will make all things work together For good and for the right Friend, the Lord will guide you your darkest night